Right now and today, I have something big to tell you guys. <laughs> Hey yo, 18, what's poppin', baby? It's been a while since I've talked to y'all. I'm back. It's been a it's been a quick minute. Uh, I just got out of class right now. Um, but yeah, um, talk to you guys real soon. Uh, as soon as I stop driving, so. What is up, guys? How y'all doing? It's been a quick minute, y'all. I talked to y'all since I've made a video for y'all, man. It's been a quick minute, y'all. So sorry for that. I've uh, been real busy with school, with work, uh, other stuff, man. Um, family, friends, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, I think I posted a video since like, summer, I think, early summertime, June or July. Please, my last video. But um, but yeah, man, it's been a quick minute. I uh, miss y'all, miss talking to y'all, miss making videos for y'all for the 18 family, for the 18 fam, 18 gang, you know what I mean? Gang, gang. How y'all doing? How's the 18 fam doing, man? How y'all doing, man? Comment down below. How y'all doing, man? Today, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling blessed to be alive, to be breathing and living, you know what I'm saying? I just got out of my uh, class right now. Um, how y'all doing, man? How y'all feeling? Hope y'all are smiling. Have a smile on your face. That was kind of creepy, but okay. Um, have a smile on your face. Um, dabbing on them haters. Or hit the pokes on them haters. Whatever you want to do. However you're feeling. If you don't have haters, you're not speaking your mind. You're not speaking your true feelings, man. Help, help y'all being you and being yourself, man. There's so many fake people um, these days, man. Be yourself, stand out, be a maverick. But yeah, be a maverick. Stand out, man. Think outside the box. Um, but yeah, man, I have something very, very big to tell you. So stay tuned for that. Before we get to that, guys, make sure you follow me on all my social medias up here. Instagram, Snap, Facebook, all the... Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already joined the 18 family. What y'all doing? Join the 18 family today. Y'all missing out on this content. Woo! Uh, yeah, I'm to head home. Talk to y'all just in a bit. Um, so to go on home, I thought I'd pick a more quiet spot to talk to you guys. Um, so I thought I'd come to the park and talk to y'all. But yeah, I thought uh, I'd uh, come to this beautiful park. This beautiful park. on green grass. Y'all probably thought since I'm in Arizona that it's all desert, man. We still have trees out here. We still have grass. Don't, don't think otherwise, man. We still have grass out here in Arizona. Crazy rep, but yeah, um, we're gonna sit down and talk to y'all. Alright, let me find a bench. Alright, guys, um, as you can see by the title of this video, I have some big news, I have some of a big announcement for y'all. So, the big news, the big announcement, guys, 
is if you want, okay, for, for the big news, if you honestly live under a rock, you must have heard that the midterm election, the 2018 midterm elections are coming up on November 6th, this year, 2018, and to say the least, they are going to be the most crucial, or the most this crucial midterm election out of the last century. Many, many have said, many news media people have said that it's, it's probably the most critical in, in the last in in U.S. history. So, which means you all need to freaking vote. Man, if you are 18 and above, man, 18. Uh, before the midterm elections, register to vote right now. If you guys haven't registered to vote, go do it right now. If you're, if you're watching this video and you have not registered to vote, stop this video. I don't care if you finish this video, but stop what you're doing right now. Stop this video. Pause this video. Click the link at the description um, that will take you the to, to register to vote in Arizona. If you're in some other state, uh, it should be in your, be your state website, I believe. If, you, if it's your first time voting, I believe you do have to fill in some paperwork and send it to the, your, your local uh, voting records, I believe, uh, office. Mail it in. Um, that should happen pretty quick. Second, and second, you have to go and vote, y'all. So, um, you have no excuse not to vote. This year's midterm elections, if you're 18 and above. Especially us millennials, I'm speaking for myself too, um, we need to vote. It's, it is crucial that we vote in this, in this year's midterm elections. I was really pissed off um, back in the 2016 um, presidential elections where, when I couldn't vote because I didn't turn 18. Uh, I turned 18 after the elections happened. So, I'm taking it upon myself to vote this in this year's midterm elections because it is one of the most crucial, and I, I said it before, but it's one of the crucial, most important elections America's ever seen. Um, you all might be saying, why should I vote? Why should I put the effort to register to vote and go and actually vote? I know you've heard that your vote doesn't matter or your vote will make a difference. Clearly, if you didn't vote, 2016 elections, it did make a difference. The people that thought that their vote couldn't make a difference, well, clearly you saw what happened in 2016. I'm, I'm not gonna say it's your fault, but still, collectively, people who, who had the chance, who had the right to vote, but chose not to vote because of their laziness or they were told something or your, your vote doesn't matter. Um, that's, this is so untrue. We've probably had the most chaotic two years from an administration standpoint. Like, look at this country every day, some bombshells going off, some, some news story. Like, can we go back to the days when it was so cool? It was like all we had was sports and political, like not like not political stuff. Like, it's like drowning into our sports. Like, can sports used to be sports? Like, why does the president have, he can move for a team, he doesn't have to demonize the players. But back to my point, y'all. You guys have changed that impression, impression that your vote does matter. Your vote, your voice does matter. We elect these officials, not just some random people. We elect these officials. We have, the, we hold the power. And if we don't utilize that power, we're wasting it. We, it becomes a totalitarian government. We have the freedom. We have that freedom to vote. Why are we using that freedom? We choose to vote, and we choose to put the right people, whether Republican or Democrat, the people that have the right morals, the right ideas, that have this. They, they are good people before they're good politicians. We want good people before good politicians. That's what I believe. When we vote, we shut up the white nationalists that we saw back in 2017 that we saw in Charlottesville where a woman was killed.
feel like right now America is just lost. They don't know. America, she is just lost right now. Where she, people don't know what they stand for. The people don't know who they are. It's just so divided. Where you're either on this side, or you're on that side. You're either for Trump or, or you're against Trump. It's it's not a very peaceful. You know, it's not it's not very peaceful. It's not. No, it's, I wouldn't say it's a fun time. To, it's not, a, it's not a joyful time, especially if you, if you follow the news. To be an American, like, you know, I feel like there's been way more joyous time. Like, right now, sure, the economy's up, but is the economy the only thing that matters? Like, you, you're the freedom, so speech, all that good stuff. You have that, right? Your arms, all that good stuff. But we really, really think about it. Is it really a peaceful time in America right now? I don't think so. It is our duty, our our job to go out and vote, to determine who we are as a country, who we are as a people, as Americans. America is just a huge melting pot. But we just need to figure out our identity. Are we going to be so immoral? Are we going to have such, such immoral leaders? I'll be watching this video and saying, well, oh, Alan, you're liberal, right? No, I don't support Bill Clinton's actions back in. 90s. I don't support that. I want some moral leaders, I, and as a Christian, I want leaders that would follow God's plan. You know, God's plan. Had to trick, but yeah, God's plan that that this country would be led by the Holy Spirit. You know, if you, if you know what I'm talking about. You're gonna be asking, what's gonna fix our problem? What's gonna fix America? Democracy. What's gonna fix? Man, I'm trying to vlog here, man. The threat to a democracy didn't start with Donald Trump. Right? The threat is our indifference. Where we can't listen to one the other side. Or another viewpoint, another opinion. We, we are just not um, mentally not capable of doing it. I don't know why that is now. It's ex exponentially grown the rate of people that are not able to listen to one side or the other side. From where they're coming from or, or, or why they feel that way. It's just sad, right? I just want to say, he, the guy in the White House, he is, he is a symptom. He's not a cause. I, would, I urge you guys to um, spend some time, uh, research on who you plan to vote for. And, uh, don't just go there and just close your eyes, pick a random person. Know who you're voting for, know their policies, know if they're going to hold the guy in the White House accountable, man. That's what we need. Trump's not going anywhere as far as I know. If you guys have been following the Mueller investigation, as far as right now, Trump, Trump is going to stay in the White House for now. So we need somebody, we need people in the government, the Senate, and the Congress to hold the president accountable for his actions, for his words, for what he does. I'm talking to you guys today because the reason why the midterm elections truly is important. Because right now, I'm taking this offensively for those who are Republicans. Okay? Those on the right. The Republican Party is straight up scared of Donald Trump. Let me say that again. The Republican Party, the Republican Party, who has, who's conservative, comprises of many evangelicals. Yeah. Be scared of Donald Trump. I don't know why, but we need to put politicians, people in government, senator, in the Senate, in the House of Representatives that are not scared to go against Trump. We don't want to fight, but we want to, to hold this man in the White House in check. There's nobody, not nobody in his cabinet. There's nobody that's holding him in check. That's a scary thing to, to even think about. And let me <clears throat> let me restate what I said before earlier. This midterm election, 2018, November, is gonna be one of the most pivotal, the most crucial midterm elections. I'm personally gonna say Tr Donald Trump is not our pastor. But are you going to sit here and tell me that
that President Trump is the highest office in the land, in the country, right? Right. So shouldn't that person have some sort of values that are、uh, the people? Do we just ignore that? Like, come on now. So if you just sit back and be lazy and don't do anything in these midterm elections, right? Don't vote. Shame on you if you. After the midterm elections and the, the results come out, you complain. If you are a true American, you must register to vote, go vote, encourage others to vote. All in all, I know I'm rambling and it's probably this is a long ass video, but if you guys have made it this far, thank you for watching. This video is my straight up raw, unfiltered. I didn't really prepare for this vlog or this. Sit down and talk to you guys for this big announcement or big news. I'm now done with my spiel.、Uh, sorry for rambling all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope y'all took away something away from this video.、Um, hey y'all, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to throw a thumbs up, a like or a dislike, whatever you want to do. Comment down below your thoughts if you、uh, disagreed or agree with what I've said, or if I said something incorrectly. Correct me in the comments down below. I don't really care. I'll take all the criticism. And I'll take it and I'll use it and to better myself.、Um, make sure to go subscribe to my channel, guys. Go check it out.、I、do have a second channel, so it's called Allen Studios. The link will be in the in the description of the video. So go check that out. Go subscribe to that channel, please. We should appreciate that.、Um, or something will pop up right here. Click on it. Go subscribe, guys.、Um, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for taking your time. To watch the video, if you did, if you did make it this far, thank you for taking the time. It was a long video, but thank you for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.